Hey, I'm Seth Johnson with the Fleece Fox Studio, and uh, the other day I was checking out a video by Freddie W. Uh, called Serial Killer. It's really good. You should go check it out. And uh, his behind-the-scenes video showed um, this really weird um, DSLR camera stabilizer that I'd never seen before. Uh, it's called a fig rig. So I was doing some uh, research on them and decided to make one for myself. Um, if you buy the uh, the actual fig rig, it's about 300 bucks, but I made one for 22 bucks. So uh, I'll show it to you here. Here it is. You can find some pretty good tutorials online of how to make this yourself, um, but I've made a couple of modifications to the ones that I found online. Uh, first of all, I added another uh, four-way connector here so that I have a base on this that I can uh, can keep this propped up better. And then I added a little bit longer handle down here at the bottom so that I can hold it with one hand if I would like to. But um, you put your camera in the middle and when you hold it with both hands you're able to um, keep the center point from your camera uh, being out a little bit and it helps you um, remove all those little bitty shakes whenever you're filming. And you're going to need um, a couple of things to actually mount the camera. Um, it's going to be a large washer and then a butterfly nut. And then uh, my screw here is somewhere around uh, two inches long. And to put that into this cap piece, I drilled a hole and then put um, a, a nut on both sides of this cap and then super glued inside the cap before. I put the pipe together. Um, when you work with PVC pipe you only have about 30 seconds tops um, to move the pipe around um, and that's it's kinda difficult because if you're trying to do pieces that are supposed to be flat you may end up having it uh, turn a little bit on you so be careful be fast with that. If I were to build this again I would make one more modification and that would be to add longer pieces here on the side um, because whenever I upgrade cameras I will most likely have a larger DSLR camera that will have the Rode VideoMic Pro on top and um, there's not quite enough room with the uh, 6 inch pipe that's going up here so I would go with more like an 8 inch pipe to give you more room up top.